It's absolutely normal for the cast to leave a particular movie or series they were starring in for a long period of time, and that can be for many reasons. But this time, we were shocked to find out the reason these Flash cast left the show. Stay with us, we're about to reveal everything. The Flash has seen several notable actors come and go during its run. Some had clear reasons for departing, but others were more complicated. Stay with us and find out about the real reason these stars are leaving The Flash. Tom Felton The famous actor Tom Felton became popular with his role of Draco Malfoy in the eight Harry Potter movies. He had a minor role in Rise of the Planet of the Apes, all together with a supporting role part for the third season in The Flashes. Despite the chief role he gained, we can freely say that he was frequently known to be an exceptional appearance on the same exact show. Unfortunately, the next season sent Julian to London and since then, he never ever shows up again in the show. He once explained that he departed because of the contract he had with the production, which was available for only one season of the show. Chantel Van Santen Chantel Van Santen's Patty Spivet showed up in the second season of The Flash, starring as Barry Allen's peer at the Central City Police Department and also as his girlfriend for a short period of time. Unfortunately, her character was unexpectedly eliminated in the third season because of Van Santen's other acting undertakings such as the major role in USA Network's Shooter. Shooter represents a drama three-season series where Ryan Philippe was starring as the ex-Marine Rob Lee Swagger and Van Santen starred as his wife Julie Swagger. After that, she also had a recurring role in The Boys where she played Becca Butcher. Now Chantel is taking part in the alternate history series for all mankind. Hartley Sawyer Hartley Sawyer was fired for problematic tweets. Elongated Man is not that known superhero whose popularity was often overshadowed by Plastic Man who possesses similar powers. He appeared in the fourth season as a supporting character. We must say that Hartley Sawyer attracted huge praise for his excellent performance but unfortunately his stint finished when some of his pre-flash tweets reappeared on the surface. The tweets bordered on racist and misogynistic content in regards to Mr. Sawyer's posts on social media. We don't tolerate derogatory remarks that target any race, ethnicity, national origin, gender, or sexual orientation," executive producer Eric Wallace is saying. Nevertheless, Sawyer made an apology afterward saying and admitting that his words were very unacceptable and hurtful because he hasn't been recast. Victor Garber Victor Garber's Martin Stein and Franz Darmus Jefferson Jackson merged together to form the metahuman popular and known as Firestorm. After the three-episode run in The Flash, Firestorm became very famous in Legends of Tomorrow. Nevertheless, Garber departed from Arrowverse and decided to focus on his Broadway career which was more important for him at that time. It's also great to know that he started his career by acting in huge theater roles and thanks to that, he gained even four Tony nominations. How exciting is that? His department from Legends of Tomorrow made sure that he'll never ever again return in The Flash either. Since that moment, he has been starring in the popular music play Hello Dolly. Emily Bett Rickards Besides the fact that Emily Bett Rickards' Felicity Smoke is not notable with Arrow, the tech brilliance has also had very important appearances in The Flash as well as being Barry Allen's love interest for a period of time. Despite reprising the role as Felicity in the Arrow's finale, she was also absent for the eighth season. After that, she decided to take a huge break from TV and decided to focus on theater. Emily starred in a play in New York titled Reborning and at the same time, her dramedy funny story was presented. In one interview with Collider, the actress said, I feel like with theater, the discovery is never ending. There's time for rehearsal and I feel like there's a deeper exploration of what the characters are. I'm really looking forward to doing theater again. Franz Dharma at the exact same time when Steins' character passed away in Crisis on Earth X, Franz Darma's take on Firestorm also had to terminate. His character as Jefferson Jackson aka Jax is known to be alive and there's a possibility to somehow return in the future season of Legends of Tomorrow or The Flash. The chances still seem improbable due to the fact that Jax now lacks any superpowers. Furthermore, it's great to know that Dharma's post-Arrowverse career adds a role in Guy Ritchie's popular gangster comedy The Gentleman and a backing character in the Apple TV sci-fi series C. Tom Cavanaugh or Harrison Wells and Carlos Valdez or Cisco Ramon Huge changes are about to happen in The Flash next season, believe it or not. These two amazing cast members are about to leave the long-lasting CW superhero TV show exactly at the end of the seventh season and this is quite a shocking news we must admit. 
Tom Cavanaugh or Harrison Wells, and Carlos Valdez or Cisco Ramon are both formally leaving the TV show and that's going to happen this year. Valdez's Cisco will depart by showing up in the season 7 finale. On top of that, the TV show has recently presented a couple of new members in the team. Most exceptional fellow tech whiz Chester P. Rung or Brandon McKnight. So it's more than obvious that we're about to see how the crew is evolving in its further stage. Kavanaugh's department is a bit more obscure. When taking his character into consideration, it seems like he had already departed from the core cast even before the season's end. Kavanaugh has starred a half dozen Harrison Wells throughout the entire show's run, in addition to the version of DC baddie Ebert Thon. He also lately came back with a multiversal revival incorporating various modifications of Wells and hovered into the past to experience again the last couple of years with his wife. So it's more than obvious that the exit will stick, but it's also known that Kavanaugh is obligated to come back later exactly in this season, just before his official complete exit. Tom and Carlos have been an integral part of our show for seven seasons and will be greatly missed, showrunner Eric Wallace said to Deadline. Both are incredible talents who created beloved characters that fans and audiences around the world have come to love, which is why we're happily keeping the door open for return appearances. As Wallace stated clearly and precisely, these two are always going to have the chance to return for any guest roles in a course of time. That is actually the main topic between departed Arrowverse celebrities through the CW Super Shows. Taking the Flash into consideration, the eighth season has already been recreated and there should be plenty of opportunities to bring these two fan favorites back for a visit or two at some point in the future. But anyway, we're here talking about two really significant goodbyes from the main cast, quite stable since the show started seven years ago. They made the show special and gave their unique chemistry for which the people actually started loving the series. They were the main parts of the show and it's more than obvious that it's going to be really hard to replace these iconic faces that contributed so much. Without them in this TV show, they will only leave space for Grant Gustin or Barry Allen, Candace Patton or Iris West, Daniel Panabaker or Caitlin Killer Frost, and Jesse L. Martin or Joe West to be the OG stars there. On a related note, we wanted to know which part was your favorite one from our video. You can tell us in the comment section below. If you'd like more videos like these, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.